From tomorrow, all returnees to Singapore from China, including residents and long-term pass holders from outside of Hubei province, will be subject to a 14-day stay-home notice. The multi-ministry task force on COVID-19 said this in a view of a substantial number of such persons looking to come back to Singapore after the Chinese New Year holidays in China. Cheryl Goh reports. The stay home notice or SHN is stricter than the existing leave of absence which allowed individuals to leave their homes briefly to buy meals or groceries. Those placed under SHN will not be allowed to leave their homes at all. The notice will be issued to those affected when they arrive at the airport. Co-chair of the multi-ministry task force and national development minister Lawrence Wong said the notice will help to limit the risk of transmission from the substantial number of individuals expected to come back from China. First of all, we are not just talking about the PRC workers, we are also talking about Singaporeans, permanent residents who are in China now. And we want to just prepare for uh, a scenario where they do come back in waves after the Chinese New Year period and that's why we think we need a tighter and stricter regime to be put in place right now. We think this is uh, appropriate at this juncture. It will ensure that uh, we reduce the number of imported cases coming back from China and then we can focus our energies on limiting or reducing the risk of local transmission of the virus within Singapore. Mr. Wong also stressed that the notice is different from those under quarantine. Individuals on SHN are not suspected to have had close contact with confirmed cases, nor are they unwell or showing symptoms. The move is really an added precautionary measure. Mr. Wong added help will be provided for those who need assistance for food and daily necessities. A range of surveillance methods will be used to ensure compliance, for instance, video calls and spot checks. We will use a whole range of methods to enforce and make sure that there is compliance with the regime. And we have already put in place some penalties and we will ensure that the penalties are stricter. Right? So anyone who is on a long-term uh, long pass that doesn't comply with the regime, we will revoke the passes. A Singaporean who doesn't comply with the regime, we will be able to prosecute under the Infectious Diseases Act. Those found flouting the notice may be prosecuted under the Infectious Diseases Act. And with the notice, the government will also no longer issue any new leave of absences for returnees with a recent travel history to mainland China. Singapore has confirmed another two new cases of the COVID-19 virus as of noon today, taking the total number of infections here to 77. One of them is a one-year-old toddler. Five more patients have fully recovered, taking the total number of discharged cases to 24. The one-year-old child with COVID-19 infection was one of the 174 people on Singapore's second evacuation flight from Wuhan on the 9th of February. He's currently warded at KK Women's and Children's Hospital and is in stable condition. Another new case is a 35-year-old man who is a close contact of a DBS Asia employee who tested positive for the infection earlier. Four patients are currently in critical condition in the intensive care unit. Uh, there are currently 1,081 individuals quarantined and 1,277 who have completed their quarantine.